in one of New Zealand's premier races. The 120th Grand National Hurdles has ended in high drama at Rickerton today, the third of the field coming to grief. David DeSoma reports. On solid steel, Mr. Charlton. Jumps racing is notoriously high risk, and the 120th Grand National Hurdles was more so than most. And more carnage was just seconds away, as Tommy Hazlitt also had a close encounter with the Rickett and Turf. Maybe if I was a little bit closer to him when he fell, I could have made a decision then what way to, to go with my fella. But, uh, you know, unfortunately he stood up and he just walked straight in front of me, so I, I had absolute, absolutely nothing I could do. I was more, more gutted about falling. You know, I don't, I don't care about getting hurt. You know, I want to win the race. And the fact that I thought I could have won it and then go and fall, it's not good. On the penultimate fence, Arriva Denshi said goodbye, and then a fourth horse fell at the last. Amazingly, none of the horses or jockeys were seriously hurt, though Richard Enon did hobble back to the birdcage. High season won the controversial race for new Plymouth trainer John Wheeler. He knows there'll be detractors and that for some today's race only confirms their thoughts that jumps racing is cruel and should be banned. I love my horses more than they would ever know and we look after them and care for them. If things go wrong like that, that's the way it is. It's in the nature of sport. But uh, if you didn't like getting hurt, you'd never play rugby, would you? The Grand National steeplechase on the even higher fences will be held on Saturday. It could be quite a drama-filled week. David DeSoma, Three News.